removing the rear spoiler from a 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. Getting it off is a bit of a pain in the butt. I'll give you a quick step-by-step. -step. Mine is the power tailgate, so you need to disable the power tailgate at the front. Switch the power off on the tailgate. You need to get somewhat familiar with removing this type of body clip. There will be four of them here, underneath the lift gate on either side. You only need to remove a few so that you can get to those two holes right there, here and here. You'll undo the two screws in there and you come back over. I've already removed the panel here, but you remove the switch, just kind of wedge on either side of the switch. It'll just pop kind of out of the hole. And then the same thing with the handle, you kind of wedge your tool in behind the handle, kind of like so, and then it'll start popping out, pop that out. The entire piece on the back here, this piece here, is all just popped into place. So just kind of grab a hold of it, and you'll see that it'll all come out. You do need to take the bottom clips out first. So the clips that are along the bottom. Once you get all that removed, there's four bolts. One, two, three, four, 10 millimeter ones that you need to remove off of the spoiler itself. The spoiler does come off, but it is a royal pain in the butt. There's the bolts. One, two, three, four, and then the rest of it is clipped into place. These are those little two little screws that were right there on the side. Just about every single one of my clips either broke or came awfully close to breaking. So you will need to have new clips in place to do that when you go to put it back on. I used a pry bar that looks like this. I wrapped the end with tape so that I wouldn't scratch it. And then from up here, I was able to wedge in underneath and pop along all the way from both sides. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a whole bunch of them. And you'll see some of them are still broken inside there. And then with the tailg tailgate up, you can disconnect the control there and the sprayer nozzle hose here. That's how to get the stupid thing off. Good luck getting it back on. Good luck with new clips.